Hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video as the title says we're going to find out how to install MIUI 12.5 beta or Xiaomi.eu beta for the K20 Pro. Now as you might have seen in my previous video I have been installing the China beta and I have been really impressed we also did a gaming live stream and it was pretty pretty good so I thought you know might as well go ahead and try Xiaomi.eu beta which is based on the exact same updates but with some minor improvements and to make it less Chinese and more global that is what uh, xiaomi.eu does every time so in today's video we're going to quickly install it and then once the first boot is completed we will actually go ahead and have a look if there are any major differences or not but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video at the same time in the description of each of video you will find a link to our telegram community please go ahead and join us there and if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and become a member. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so first things first, you will of course need an unlocked bootloader. You will need TWRP installed. In my case, I am, as always, using Orange Fox Recovery because that is my recovery of choice. I have copied the ROM file onto a OTG pen drive, so that should help as well because uh, I had to format data because the uh, ROM was encrypted, the China beta was encrypted. So make sure you have backed up all your data, make sure you have more than 50% battery. I mean, in my case, I have 100% battery and you just need one file if you don't need root access. That is uh, the Xiaomi.eu beta software file or the ROM file as we call it. Now, once you are there, you just need to, as I said, you need to go, if you're an orange fox, you need to go to manage partition, select data, hit the tick mark and do a format data and then go to reboot and reboot into recovery. Now, we've already done that part, so we will begin with the formatting process. So over here, Dalvik Cache System Vendor Data and Internal Storage, wipe everything. Now, before we actually begin the flashing process, let me tell you this is Android 11 based. Okay, so there is a small catch over here that after flashing this ROM, if you decide to go to a OSS based ROM, which is a custom ROM based on the OSS vendor, and then if you directly downgrade to Android 10, then you will have, you know, if you directly downgrade to an Android 10 based custom ROM or anything of that sort, even the stock ROM from OSS custom, you will have issues with your phone. So there is a separate video coming on that topic. Basically, the path is pretty simple. If you've upgraded to Android 11 beta for K20 Pro based on MIUI, first downgrade to Indian stable or any stable ROM of your choice for the K20 Pro and then install any custom ROM after installing the WRP. That is the right way to do it. I will make a dedicated video on that. Now, once everything has been wiped, you just need to go ahead and select the zip. Swipe to confirm flash. Now, remember, this is a MIUI based ROM. So these ROMs are very, very big. So it will take anywhere between three to five minutes to completely flash. And I am expecting that all the features and smoothness that we saw in MIUI 12.5 on the China beta I am exp I'm going to experience the same thing here as well. So let's wait for it to completely flash and then we will boot and see if there is any boot logo changes or not because uh, MIUI 12.5, if you haven't seen my video, the video is uh, you know, here somewhere at the top in a card. Uh, it has quite a few significant changes and it is better performance wise as well. So let's wait for the flash to complete and then we can continue. All right, so I almost felt that the device has gone into a boot loop, but it did not. It took good five to seven minutes to go ahead and, you know, boot into the system for the first time. So we'll quickly have a look at the setup menu while we set things up. This does say MIUI 12.5. So as you can see over here, it says change language. So we will choose English United States over here for obvious reasons. Okay. And you will see that there are subtle changes in the setup menu itself. And uh, most of the things over here, you will find them in English instead of Chinese, just like the Chinese beta. Now, as you can see over here, uh, we've already connected the Wi-Fi and we've already unlocked the device by adding the Xiaomi account. And uh, yeah, we'll do a don't copy over here. We will skip the setup part real quick. And 
if there is anything worth showing i will definitely show it to you now you do you see there are new colors there are new icons there are subtle changes now you will not notice that this is uh, you know a dramatic change or something like that but there are uh, you know small changes here and there which is really really neat so again another good thing about xiaomi.eu is that it comes with uh, the system launcher it doesn't actually come with the poco launcher so one small bug or whatever you call it i did choose full screen gestures but it did not register that probably so let's actually go to display over here real quick and let's select the dark mode okay we have the dark mode over here and now full screen display let's go ahead and turn this on not now you can also hide the full screen indicator and keep it on for now swipe up from the corner for google assistant okay now you will notice that there are some stutters while i show you things around in this particular rom right now because remember we've just finished installing this rom and the phone in the background is still setting up the services applications and a lot of other things but as i mentioned you don't have a lot of chinese over here to the left you have the app world but you would see the moment you click agree everything turns to english okay the only thing that you'll find in chinese probably is app store or theme store so the mi app store and the theme store might be in chinese so yes and uh, if we have get apps or something so another good thing about xiaomi.eu is that it does give you all the 12.5 features okay but it has most of the chinese bloatware removed so if you go to my device over here you will see that this is uh, 21.8 1.14 beta and if you go to all specifications you will see that the security patch is jan and the android version is android 11 so that is another good thing so more or less you know all the mio 12.5 features that i showcased in the quick review if you want you can go ahead and have a look at that particular video i'm pretty sure those features are still available and already i can feel that the ui is pretty responsive and pretty subtle I will probably make a comparison if I'm, you know, up for it. I'm not really sure. But, you know, this was a quick step-by-step -step easiest guide on how to actually go ahead and install MIUI 12.5 on your Xiaomi Redmi K20 Pro. Let me know if this, let me know if you like this video in the comment section. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off with Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.